In the vast tapestry of history and the human experience, few voices resonate as profoundly as that of Dan Carlin. Known for his riveting storytelling on the Hardcore History podcast and his thought-provoking insights on common sense, Carlin is not just a commentator. He's a guide through the annals of time. Today, we embark on a literary journey curated by this master storyteller. Get ready to delve into narratives that span centuries, challenge perspectives, and transport us to worlds forgotten. Greetings, history enthusiasts and seekers of knowledge. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we have a literary exploration that transcends time and space, guided by none other than the captivating Dan Carlin. Best known for his enthralling podcasts that bring history to life, Carlin's passion for storytelling extends beyond the microphone to the written word. In this video, we'll be diving into the books recommended by Dan Carlin, uncovering the tales that have ignited his curiosity and fueled his deep insights into the human condition. From ancient civilizations to contemporary discourse, Carlin's reading list is a treasure trove of intellectual gems. So buckle up for an enriching journey through the pages that have left an indelible mark on the mind of one of the most compelling storytellers in our time. This is the literary world of Dan Carlin, where history, wisdom, and narrative prowess converge. Let's get started. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and share. If you're new to this channel, hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to never miss an update. Links to the books are given in the description below. Number 10. The Wizards of Armageddon by Fred Kaplan A distinguished journalist, author, and national security expert, Fred Kaplan stands at the intersection of insightful analysis and gripping storytelling. With a career spanning decades, Kaplan has earned acclaim for his profound understanding of international affairs and his ability to distill complex subjects into engaging narratives. His works, marked by meticulous research and a keen eye for detail, have established him as a trusted authority on matters of global significance. In The Wizards of Armageddon, Kaplan unveils a riveting exploration of the intellectuals who shaped America's nuclear strategy during the Cold War, showcasing his talent for blending history, politics, and human drama into a compelling tapestry. The Wizards of Armageddon by Fred Kaplan is a tour de force that transports readers into the clandestine corridors of Cold War strategy. Kaplan skillfully weaves together the stories of the brilliant minds who crafted America's nuclear policy, revealing the intellectual battleground that shaped the course of history. From the debates in think tanks to the high-stakes decisions in the halls of power, Kaplan's narrative is both comprehensive and deeply human. Number 9. Thunder Go North by Melissa Darby A meticulous historian and captivating storyteller emerges as a guide through the icy landscapes of the Arctic and Thunder Go North. With a passion for unearthing forgotten histories, Darby takes readers on a journey through the untamed frontiers of the North revealing the stories of intrepid explorers, indigenous cultures, and the persistent allure of the Northwest Passage. Armed with academic rigor and a flair for narrative, Darby's work stands as a testament to her commitment to bringing the past to life and ensuring that the voices of those who ventured into the frozen unknown are heard. Thunder Go North by Melissa Darby is a mesmerizing odyssey into the heart of Arctic exploration, where the allure of the unknown collided with the unforgiving forces of nature. Darby's narrative is a symphony of historical accounts, cultural insights, and gripping tales of exploration, seamlessly woven into a rich tapestry that spans centuries. The strength of Darby's work lies in her ability to breathe life into the characters who dared to navigate the treacherous waters and icy landscapes of the North. From the early expeditions, in search of the elusive Northwest Passage, to the encounters with indigenous peoples, each chapter unfolds with a vividness that transports readers to the frontiers of exploration. Number 8. The Ark of Boxing by Mike Silver A venerable figure in the world of boxing emerges as a true maestro of the sweet science in the Ark of Boxing. As an acclaimed author, historian, and boxing analyst, Silver's deep passion for the sport permeates every page of his work. With a career-spanning decade, he has not only witnessed the ebbs and flows of boxing's history, but has also become a trusted voice, offering insights that extend beyond the ring. The Ark of Boxing stands as a testament to Silver's commitment to preserving the essence of boxing, providing readers with a nuanced understanding of its cultural significance, historical evolution, and enduring appeal. The Ark of Boxing by Mike Silver is a magnum opus that transcends the boundaries of a typical sports narrative. Silver doesn't merely chronicle the exploits of boxers. He delves deep into the heart of the sport, tracing its evolution from the bare-knuckle days to the modern era. 
This book is not just a collection of stories. It's a meticulous exploration of the cultural, social, and historical forces that have shaped boxing into the phenomenon it is today. Number 7. The Storm Before the Storm by Mike Duncan A luminary in the realm of history podcasting and a captivating storyteller, emerges as a guiding force through the tumultuous prelude to one of history's most significant events in The Storm Before the Storm. Renowned for his podcast The History of Rome, Duncan's expertise lies in rendering complex historical narratives accessible and engaging. With a knack for distilling intricate political landscapes into compelling narratives, Duncan becomes a literary maestro, beckoning readers to traverse the stormy prelude to the fall of the Roman Republic. The Storm Before the Storm by Mike Duncan is a riveting exploration of a period often overshadowed by the grandeur of the Roman Empire, the twilight era of the Roman Republic. Duncan's narrative prowess, honed through years of podcasting, unfolds with a cinematic quality, transporting readers to the political arenas, tumultuous debates, and seismic shifts that laid the groundwork for transformative change. Number 6. The Hard Stuff by Wayne Kramer A revolutionary guitarist, songwriter, and a true icon of rock and roll, Wayne Kramer steps into the spotlight as both maestro and memoirist in The Hard Stuff. Best known as a founding member of the legendary MC5, Kramer's impact on the music world extends far beyond his pioneering guitar riffs. In his memoir, Kramer peels back the layers of his life, revealing not only the highs of rock stardom but the raw, unfiltered challenges that tested his mettle. As an artist, activist, and survivor, Kramer's narrative is a symphony of resilience, redemption, and the enduring power of music. The Hard Stuff by Wayne Kramer is not just a memoir. It's a thunderous anthem echoing the highs and lows of a life fully lived. Kramer's prose is as electric as his guitar solos, pulsating with raw honesty and a poetic cadence that immerses readers in the turbulent currents of his journey. From the explosive days of MC5 to the personal struggles that followed, Kramer lays bare the heart and soul of a musician who navigated the treacherous terrain of rock and roll. Kramer's storytelling prowess shines as he delves into the complexities of fame, addiction, and the unrelenting pursuit of artistic expression. The book is a visceral exploration of the music industry's underbelly and the toll it takes on those who dare to push boundaries. Number 5. Aftermath by Donovan Webster An intrepid journalist and seasoned author, Donovan Webster takes readers on a haunting exploration of the landscapes scarred by conflict and catastrophe in Aftermath. With a career marked by a commitment to uncovering the untold stories of our world, Webster emerges as a literary adventurer venturing into the aftermath of some of the most devastating events in recent history. His work, characterized by meticulous research and a compassionate eye for human stories, positions him as a guide through the haunting terrains where the echoes of tragedy and the resilience of the human spirit intersect. Aftermath by Donovan Webster is a powerful and poignant journey through the landscapes left in the wake of catastrophic events. Webster's narrative is a mosaic of vivid imagery, meticulous research and personal encounters, creating a compelling tapestry that bears witness to the enduring impact of war, disaster, and the human capacity for both destruction and survival. The strength of aftermath lies in Webster's ability to humanize the aftermaths. Through his lens, readers are transported to the physical remnants of destruction, where the scars of conflict and disaster tell stories of loss, resilience, and the indomitable human will to rebuild. Number 4. Inside the Third Rate by Albert Speer a name synonymous with the dark corridors of Nazi Germany, Albert Speer steps into the narrative spotlight as both architect and confidant of Adolf Hitler in Inside the Third Reich. As a skilled architect, Speer left an indelible mark on the physical landscape of Nazi Germany. However, his role transcended the drafting table, plunging him into the inner sanctum of Hitler's regime as Minister of Armaments and War Production. In this autobiographical account, Speer offers readers a chilling glimpse into the inner workings of the Third Reich, inviting scrutiny into his own moral dilemmas and the haunting realities of Nazi Germany. Inside the Third Reich by Albert Speer is a chilling and introspective exploration of a man entangled in the machinations of one of history's most infamous regimes. Speer's memoir provides a rare and unsettling perspective on the inner workings of Hitler's Germany, revealing the complexities of his role and the moral dilemmas he faced as a high-ranking official. The book is a literary paradox, a meticulously detailed account of Speer's rise to power and his tenure as Hitler's chief architect and later as Minister of Armaments. Number 3. 
Storm of Steel by Ernst Junger. A German officer, philosopher, and literary figure emerges as a witness and chronicler of the maelstrom of World War I in Storm of Steel. Born in 1895, Junker's life spanned tumultuous decades, and his experiences on the front lines of one of history's deadliest conflicts deeply influenced his perspective. Beyond his military service, Junker's literary contributions, including Storm of Steel, showcase his ability to convey the visceral realities of war and the profound impact it had on the human spirit. Storm of Steel by Ernst Junker is a visceral and unflinching account of the horrors of World War I capturing the essence of the conflict through the eyes of a German soldier. Junger's memoir stands as a literary masterpiece that transcends the typical war narrative, offering readers a front-row seat to the chaos, camaraderie, and existential reflections of a soldier caught in the maelstrom of battle. Number 2. With the Old Breed by E.B. Sledge Eugen Bondurant Sledge, known as E.B. Sledge, stands as a witness and chronicler of the brutal Pacific theater during World War II in his seminal work with the old breed. Born in 1923, Sledge enlisted in the United States Marine Corps and found himself in the midst of some of the bloodiest battles, including Palilu and Okinawa. His experiences as a Marine provide the raw material for a memoir that transcends the typical war narrative, as Sledge's keen observations and vivid prose bring the horrors and camaraderie of combat to life. With the Old Breed by E.B. Sledge is a haunting and unflinching account of the Pacific War offering readers an intimate and first-hand perspective on the harrowing experiences faced by Marines in some of the deadliest battles of World War II. Sledge's memoir is not merely a recounting of events, it is a visceral journey into the physical and emotional landscapes of war. Sledge's writing is both poignant and evocative, capturing the brutality and chaos of battle with a clarity that is both unsettling and mesmerizing. What sets with the old breed apart is Sledge's commitment to honesty. He does not shy away from the gruesome realities of war, describing the physical and psychological toll on soldiers in painstaking detail. Number 1. The Wages of Destruction by Adam Tooze A distinguished historian and economist, Adam Tooze emerges as a masterful interpreter of economic history in The Wages of Destruction. In this groundbreaking work, Tooze delves into the economic engine that fueled Nazi Germany's ambitions unraveling the intricate web of policies, decisions, and strategies that shaped one of the darkest chapters in human history. The Wages of Destruction by Adam Tooze is a magnum opus that dismantles the conventional understanding of the economic forces, underpinning Nazi Germany's rise and fall. Tooze's meticulous research and analytical prowess offer readers a comprehensive and illuminating journey into the economic dimensions of the Third Reich. This book is not merely a historical account, it is a profound exploration of how economic factors intertwine with political decisions to shape the trajectory of one of the most destructive regimes in modern history. Tuz's narrative unfolds like a gripping economic thriller, taking readers into the corridors of power where policies were formulated, budgets were devised, and the fate of nations was determined. As we close this chapter, remember that the power of these books lies not just in the tales they tell, but in the resonance they find in the echo chambers of our own minds. Dan Carlin, the maestro of historical storytelling, has created a selection that mirrors the depth, complexity, and richness of the human narrative. Whether you're a seasoned history buff or a casual reader, these recommendations offer a unique lens through which to view the past, the present, and the myriad possibilities of the future. So, let the pages turn, let the narratives unfold, and may you find inspiration, enlightenment, and a renewed passion for the stories that shape our world. Happy reading, and until next time, stay curious video helped you find the next book you were going to read, then like and share this video. Let me know in comment section on what type of books I should cover in my next video. Also, if you read one of the book mentioned in this video, share your review or thoughts with us. Subscribe this channel for more such awesome videos. Thanks for watching.